yeah, the Kamala ain't black song is 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 out. Um, and when I if I say somebody is black or not, I'm not talking about your skin complexion. I'm talking about your mindset. Are you black? Like, were you grown? Did you grow up with the black American experience? If you first generation uh, in the hood, you're not really black. You might know some black shit, but you're not truly living and thinking as a black American. And that's what the fuck we talking about when we say she's not black. Um, but you- this woman, to me, is not qualified to run a Dunkin' Donuts or a 7-Eleven, let her alone the corporation that we call United States of America. Her her and the and the Ganges she rode in on god damn it and i said oh they brought a female obama in but she fell short because she's not the same type of orator that this guy is she's a diggy broad people want to act like trump is the worst motherfucker in the world but guess what he was already president and all this shit you talking about didn't happen he didn't make himself a dictator and this whole shit about he's gonna make himself a dictator is really taken so out of context that it's ridiculous he said he'd make himself a dictator on the first day you know to do some implement some shit and then you know but that was trust me said tongue-in-cheek it was not said seriously um y'all already living in project 2024 okay you worried about project 2025 when they already ran project 2020 on you with the scandemic and all that fucking bullshit like what the fuck are y'all really even talking about Y'all trying to act like scare me into thinking that he's so much so bad that I should just vote for this broad just because. But guess what? I feel that she's so bad. I She's the one that scares me. So I feel that she's so bad that guess what? I might just go fuck around and vote for Trump. And this is my first time saying this out loud. But y'all motherfuckers think you're going to shame somebody or bully a nigga into voting for this bitch? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And now I'm going to be, now you're going to make me be Mr. Anti. You keep coming at me with this bullshit. You keep coming at me talking about, oh, it's a shame that you're not supporting a black woman. She's not black. She's Indian. She ain't black. Fuck out of here. They've learned, yeah, listen, I don't give a fuck. Trust me, the sentiment on the street in the real world is a lot of people are not fucking with this woman. They see right through her and they're trying to blame it on black men. But no, I see a lot of black women that are not fucking with her neither. OK, what it do, YouTube is coffee back at it. And man, oh, man, the election season drama runs thick. This I continue to say, man, like social media, the Internet, the news cycle, just everything, the way it all it plays into effect these days. Uh, information spread is so quickly, faster than the speed of light, faster than ever in the blogosphere, man. And uh, this is a story that's really heated up, man. Rapper Lord Jamar, a brand Nubian. Rapper Lord Jamar, a brand Nubian. Um, you know, went at it. Uh, used to be a part of Vlad TV. Went at it with Vlad. There was a conflict. Uh, Vlad misquoted Minister Farrakhan, and Lord Jamar got up out of there. He beefed with Eminem. They squashed. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, people who fuck with hip hop know who Lord Jamar is, no question. But, you know, uh, we're cl- crossing over into political realms and different stuff like that. You know what I mean? But Lord Jamar had a lot to say in it about Kamala Harris and Trump. And uh, y'all heard the clips there. You know, first there was a clip where he was saying, you know, uh, Kamala Harris isn't black. And speaking of the black American experience, uh, he went on to speak about Kamala Harris in the other clips. She's not qualified to run a Dunkin' Donuts, let alone a corporation known as the United States of America. He called her a bitch. And, uh, you know, he had a lot to say. Comment, everyone, your thoughts. And um, you heard what he said about Trump as well. The 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 main headlines being caught in this is more or less like Lord Jamar slams Kamala Harris, calls her a bitch, right? calls her out her name, disrespects her, and 
I don't see as many uh, headlines about the comments made about Trump. Now you see people reacting to this. There's people saying, yo, I used to respect Lord Jamar to the fullest. That respect is now gone. You know, and uh, some individuals commenting about being fans of conscious hip hop. Then I see uh, other individuals pulling up other clips where Lord Jamar has talked about F-L-A-T, E-A-R-T-H. Y'all know we got to be careful in the blogosphere, you heard? As well as some of the stuff he touched on there when speaking of, uh, you know, people are worried about Project 2025, we're in 24, and y'all fell for the okie doke in 2020. This is words Lord Jamar said, don't quote me on it. Uh, again, we always got to be careful when it comes to the blogosphere and the YT system and all that. You know what I mean? The fluckery and the flaggery that the powers that be can get on sometimes. You know what I mean? But people are pulling clips up and they're calling him a Trump supporter. And, um, you know, like you see all the different reactions. How can he slam this woman? She passed the bar exam, this, that and the third, you know, all kinds of different reactions going on. Uh, but now I don't see a lot of n news coverage about what he said about Trump. Now, in some of those reactions, you see some people calling him a Trump supporter. I wouldn't say that. I would say that. In my opinion, in comment, everyone, let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the comments. Higher body karate. That's what it's all about over here. It's hearing from the people. If you're new to the channel, it's all about tapping in with y'all. Hearing what everyone's got to say. We talk music, news, sports, and much more over here. To me, it sounded like he was more uh, commenting on the media in the, in the coverage of Trump. Is what it felt like to me. I don't know. You know what I mean? But uh, you see uh, he's being referenced at like individual. Some individuals who are very upset with him are calling him a full out uh, Trump supporter where he was saying, man, you're going to have me go out a uh, fluck around and be anti and go against the grain and vote for Trump. And he spoke about how when Trump was in office, you know, there was no wars and that, uh, you know, some of the things that. Uh, are being quoted often about the dictator comments and stuff were tongue in cheek comments made. And, um, you know, like, I don't know. That's what, so to me, it felt more like he was giving his opinion about Kamala Harris in a, in a, uh, in a treacherous way, no question, right? But, um, when it came to Trump, to me, it felt like more he was speaking about, like, if you, uh, and again, this is just my reaction. Let me know yours below. Um, you know, like that, all oh, those comments were made tongue in cheek, cheek. And, you know, some of the things that he say, like, like more or less, you're not going to use these tactics to scare me into voting one way or another. You know, um, that's, that's just the way I took it. But it was, uh, it was a lot though. He had a lot to say. You feel me? He was definitely going in on her and there was a lot of different individuals reacting to his comments in, uh, one uh, clip that we're going to roll here uh, as we've been covering all this election season drama going on is another rapper, you know, who uses his platform uh, to speak on a lot of different issues who I'm a fan of my son. Right. He responded to Lord Jamar. So listen, listen, listen. You know, all politics and all that shit aside, you know, vote for who you want to vote for. You don't want to vote for somebody, you don't like nobody, nobody can't force you to vote for nobody. Fuck all that. Vote for who you think you feel most comfortable voting for. That now that we got that shit off the table. To the God. Lord Jamal, somebody that I have respect for, somebody I've been in proximity with, close with. The shit you just did right now was a whack nigga shit. I don't even respect that from you. That's not even the character that I know of you. To constantly call that woman a bitch to double down about calling that woman a bitch because you don't like her politics you don't know that lady she ain't did nothing to harm you she ain't did nothing to disrespect you but because you don't like the way that she's running her campaign you decide to call that woman a bitch that's not man shit it ain't nothing it was nothing real about that it's not nothing the god i don't even know how the gods ain't called you in because this, this is this though this goes against everything the gods and the earth represent when we start violating women, fuck, fuck if you think she black or what, when did it be cool for you to just disrespect a woman because you don't agree with them? 
when did we just start getting on this internet just saying anything? Y'all taking this internet shit too far. Like, this internet is making you go against the man that you are. The man that I know you to be, King. This shit don't even coincide with who you are. Who you, you present to be. So I'm just confused. Like, so this is what we gonna do now because... Now we just gonna we just gonna completely lose all our morals and integrities and shit for this internet just to go viral and all that shit. This is what we doing? Like we just gonna everything we gonna we gonna we gonna turn into the low vibrational niggas. We gonna turn into the academics and then we gonna we gonna follow the blueprint of the suckers for some level of attention. Cause it ain't that serious. You don't wanna vote for you. I don't wanna vote for. I don't think she qualified. She don't represent nothing I represent. Nobody can't argue with that. Well, what she gotta be a bitch for, King? For what? Like, well, when did, when did this shit become cool? When did we start normalizing whack nigga shit? When did coward culture become some shit that real niggas adopted? And I'm saying real niggas adopted because that's how I see with you. But this shit right here, I don't even I don't even know who this is. This ain't, the, this ain't the nigga that I was in proximity with, that I sat on stages with, that I sat in rooms with and had real conversation with his men. So I'm just saying, maybe I'm wrong. If that's who you are, then cool. I understand who you are, and, I, and I'm just gonna separate myself from the situation. I'm just saying this: y'all niggas gotta grow up. As men, this shit, this shit, we not even moving as men no more. Fuck real, we not even moving as men no more. Fucking election, just start moving as men. We have to have some level of integrity and respect for ourselves. You got a mother, you got a sister, you got all that shit. Back, somebody just calling a bitch because they don't agree what she said. We taking this shit too far, man. And this ain't a call out. This is a call in. And you know, I wasn't going to really say much, but this is, you double down on that shit. You, and you sound proud. And you got the, the little Oreo cookie girl, Candace Owens, in the back shaking her head until they start calling her bitches. See, then it's going to change. But this is, this, is, this is what happens. She forget when she needed the NAACP because them, them people disrespected her. Right? Why are we not calling these white niggas that disrespect us out their name? Why are you not calling Donald Trump and them that disrespect men, black men every day out their name? Why you don't think they're trying to play you when they come with the same bullshit and they feed you the bullshit that they pander to you and tell you that if you don't vote for them, you need your head exam? Why, why you ain't calling them out their name? This shit is bigger than an election for me. It's, it's like we losing moral fiber. Like this shit is, it, we going, it's going too far for me, King. And I wouldn't be me if I didn't say something. So if that's what y'all stands is, and cool but we're gonna have to start drawing lines in the sand because men don't move that way there's a lot of men that i know that don't fuck with kamala harris but they ain't calling her bitches because they don't agree with her so let's let's start moving like men you don't agree with somebody you don't fuck with them you can say i don't fuck with the person but we can't leave with disrespect because these we teaching other people how to treat us so we can't we can't we can't be mad when they disrespect us when we disrespect us all right, so you hear his response, right? He's like, yo, um, God, like, w what's going on? This doesn't seem like you, the Lord Jamar, that I know personally, that I've built with and had conversations with and came up, um, you know, uh, tapping in with your movement and your music and what you stand for and who you are almost, uh, call, you know, just to me, it felt like he was calling his character into question and saying, I, I can't believe you know, the, the guys ain't got at you about this uh, disrespecting a woman. And, you know, uh, in the beginning, too, you heard him leading it all off with like, yo, with all this political ish, which uh, aside from what we're talking about here, I've said this numerous times when politics and stuff comes up that like over the past few elections, right, when this political ish, I have seen families, close friendships and such broken up uh, by uh, political ish, like, you know, one family member or friend or close associate, affiliate, whatever stint is on this side and, you know, other individuals over here rocking this way. And like these two individuals can't even be near each other no more without getting into it or things getting physical or just stop flat out talking like families broken up behind this political stuff, man. Like it's, it's real treacherous out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cause you see, he let it off with saying, yo, whatever, like, uh, cause he's covering a lot of stuff in regards to the election. And he was like, yo, vote for, for who you're going to vote for. Don't vote, whatever, like, uh, be that as it may, let's get into this. And 
you know, I, those that rock with me know I have a big saying over here. Let's agree to disagree if necessary, you know, especially that like like I was asking everyone to hit the comments with it and whatnot. Um, you know, like it gets crazy with this political stuff. Seeing things go down like that, seeing people fall out and stuff, I, I can't quite believe it. It's, it's something else to me. But um, you heard him. It's not a call out. It's a call in. He just seemed... Uh, you know, like he wasn't feeling the way that Lord Jamar addressed the situation and it, it, it had him looking at him like different, like I, I don't even know you anymore, like, or, you know, like this isn't the Lord Jamar I know, and, and, like calling his character into question as in, in a sense. And something often that I see when it comes to the political stuff too, as we know, we talk about social network and like I was talking about information traveling faster than the speed of light in the age of the blogosphere that we live in when it comes to political issues or different things, different topics, but specifically political stuff at times when something goes wild viral like that, which that was something else he, I don't want to say accuse him of, but he was like, yo, apologies y'all, phone call came in, I uh, lost my train of thought, but yeah, I see people often, you know, oh yeah, they, I don't want to say accuse him of, but he was like saying, you know, like you almost seem like, you know, certain people try to go viral and like, is this what we're doing now? Is this what type time we're on or whatever? You know what I mean? But um, when it comes to celebrities or or people, you know, who can go viral and who've done numbers and stuff like that, because I see a lot of people like dissing Lord Jamar, calling him a has been and stuff like that. And he had a pretty successful acting career as well been on a lot of hbo shows a lot of different tv shows a lot of different stuff you know but um my point is is like seeing this clip go this way and it's so shocking and to a lot of people appalling and people are reacting in these ways right uh when this stuff happens a lot with uh certain situations something is controversial and goes uh viral uh, specifically, when you get into the, the political realm, I see a lot of people question, yo, is someone, uh, you know, like, are they getting paid? Are they, are, 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 did like someone get in their ear and they're getting a bag to say what they're saying? I don't want to say that my son said that, but it almost, like I was saying, the, the way I'm seeing people reacting and, and what was said about what my son was saying kind of questioning Lord Jamar's character, I was, I, I, you know, I, I wonder if, uh, you know, that that is a reaction that we'll see or an accusation or whatever the case may be, you know, but comment with your thoughts so, uh, on all that. My son called him out, but again, not call out, it's a call in, you know, made it clear like, yo, this ain't no disrespect. I just can't believe I heard what you said. And, you know, like you're, you're violating Connor all out her name and why aren't you calling out other individuals? You know what I'm saying? Why, like, why come at her th this way and whatnot? And then we have an update now. Lord Jamar has responded. Peace, it's Lord Jamar. I recently come under fire for calling Kamala Harris out of her name. Uh, and as a man, uh, I'm going to admit when I was wrong and that I did cross the line. Yes, I shouldn't have called her. Uh, the names that I called her, and uh, after watching it myself, it definitely was cringeworthy, and I would like to just extend my apologies to her and all those that felt offended by my comments. Um, yeah, you know, we have to really be mindful of where our words can travel to and just like a bullet once you release them it's hard to take them back um, so i'm here to say yes i understand your criticism of me and all i can say is part of me um, i'm offering my apology and you know in the future I will not speak of her in such a way, whether I disagree with her or not, and, you know, attempt to not speak about any women in such a way, to be honest. Um, again, 
My apologies. She is Madam Vice President, whether we like it or not. And that's how she should be addressed. Peace and love. All right, so you see Lord Jamar responding. He said uh, he called it cringeworthy. You see uh, what he said commentary wise. Oh, I'm sorry. Caption wise, he said uh, a real man can admit he was wrong and apologize. I shouldn't have called Madame Vice President out her name and I apologize. Any crit criticism of me is warranted and I accept that peace. So all in all, um, I guess you would say like a, a, a happy ending, right? You know, like Lord Jamar and my son or Lord Jamar and other individuals ain't going back and forth. He said what he said. He called it cringeworthy. He apologized. You know, the way I take that is like, hey, um, to me, again, share your thoughts across the board on it all. That's what it's about. Coffee talking it up with y'all. Like he's saying, hey, I said what I said. I shouldn't have called her out her name. Um, I don't feel like he's backing off of everything that he said that just that he shouldn't have disrespected her in that way. And that was something my son was saying, like, you know, you could tell someone, hey, I don't fuck with you. It doesn't have to be disrespect, you know, when he was uh, referencing tactics of individuals trying to go viral, which is something we see people doing in this uh, blogosphere, you know, clicks and views uh, era, right, where that equals dollar signs and whatnot. Oh, when a lot of individuals are trying to build a brand and stuff like that and trying to get them numbers up, controversy is like the number one way to go. You know what I mean? Drama, talking ish, talking greasy will get you there, um, you know. But um, Lord Jamar responds, apologizes. But like I said, to me, I don't feel like he was backing off of what he was saying. The substance, the message behind the things that he was saying, just that he called her out her name. It's right there in the caption, man. So there you have it. A, a wild viral situation in the news. Election season. Uh, comment uh, with all your thoughts about the election as well. Everything. Lord Jamar cr goes crazy viral. Headlines being picked up. Trump, Kamala Harris. A lot of individuals respond. One of them we highlighted here. Rapper, my son, a.k.a my son ny general right new bronx city dope rapper man dope rapper for you know all the rap fans music wise as well like he has some bangers on that violator album was affiliated with rough riders like i always wanted to see my son blow then he got affiliated with uh rapper the game black wall street money gang blood money he kept changing the name of his um you know, make-believe record label. It's not a real record label, y'all. He never put no one on. Just had him on mixtapes. And, you know, I'm just keeping it real, you know. But he had some bangers with him. It didn't help his career out either. But, you know, he's doing something different these days than chasing them rap dreams. He's still dropping music and stuff. But he's going around doing speaking engagements and trying to read people, lead people down the right path rather than going to prison and such, you know. Like, he's doing a, a lot of good work, I feel. But there y'all have it. That's my take on the whole situation, just highlighting what's going on. I, once again, I want to hear from everyone. Sub up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And once again, if you're new, we talk a lot of ish over here. Music, news, sports, and more. It's coffee. I'm gone.